Hello all, uh, my name is Yash and uh, Happy New Year to everyone. So recently I've joined Google. It has been a great journey for me till now. Uh, so I would like to share a few of the experiences which I've had during the time of the interview. So if in case you're the first viewer of this channel, um, I do create the videos related to Android development and overall mobile app development basically. So I've not uh, stopped creating videos intentionally, but uh, yeah, I didn't got enough time to be honest. But, yeah, I don't want to give any excuse because um, to be honest, I know that uh, if I could have managed it would have been possible. But yeah, uh, let's see. I mean, I'll try this year to create some more videos for sure. So coming to the main part, right, for which you have came here. So I've got a DM on LinkedIn from a Google recruiter. Uh, we had a quick conversation and then uh, it, it's like, uh, They've asked me like, are you prepared enough to proceed ahead? And uh, I said like, I'm not prepared because I, I was uh, totally working with my uh, last organization. There were a lot of different tasks. There were meetings and all those things were going on. So I was obviously not prepared for this. So I've asked them to give me around uh, 20, 25 days. And uh, luckily they have given me that. So uh, I was able to uh, brush up on my skills. So, and, and the best part is during my preparation, I have uh, created one rough documentation, like a Google Doc, where I've listed each and every resources which I've followed and uh, what, what things I should be focusing on because uh, just learning things and not writing it down doesn't make any sense to proceed, right? So, I was trying to uh, uh, collate all these things and I've created a rough talk as well, which should be helpful for those people who might be preparing for a similar kind of a stuff. So I've attached that documentation in the description. So feel free to have a look on it. There were total uh, five rounds, I think. The first three was related to data structures and algorithm. Fourth round was Googliness, which is kind of a behavioral round which Google takes. So, so they call it as a Googliness. So regarding the last round, which was a system design round, there were not uh, much resources available for it because uh, most of the resources which are available are related to backend specific. But uh, my round was focused on the mobile app development side. So uh, system design round for mobile app development was not, there was not enough resources for that. But still I was able to find few of them. And yeah, I have kept that in the doc as well. So feel free to have a look on it. These are all about the rounds which I've had. But there are a few things which I would like to share that in the initial three rounds, which is related to data structures and algorithm, uh, these are not pretty much straightforward like any other company. But Google, they expect you to think out loud which is like uh, whenever you're even writing a single line of code, you should be able to explain it like why you are writing it. Or let's say if you've chosen any data structure for that matter to solve that problem, you should be able to explain why you've chosen that and why not the other one. So what's the advantage of using this over the other? So all these things are really matters a lot. And when you are trying to prepare, uh, let's say you have chosen a lead code problem. So don't try to code that problem in the lead code itself. I'll suggest to code it in a simple Google Doc or in a normal notepad. And once you feel that it is completed from your side, you can just copy and paste that into the lead code. Why I'm saying this, because the real interviews doesn't have those indentation supports. And trust me, that's annoying. This lead code have that indentation part. Also one uh, trick I followed that, once I've written the code, I try to copy and paste that code into any LLM tool. And trust me, I found few of the cases where I can improve that code. And the same code got passed in the lead code test. So that's why I was like, okay, this is good. I should try this for each and every solution which I've coded till now in my practice sessions. So these are all the things which I felt that I can share with you all folks. And one more thing which I felt that there's no signal that you have completed your preparation. That's endless. So I'd suggest that if you're able to solve a medium level lead code problem within 15 to 20 minutes and code it as well, then I think you might be decently prepared for these rounds. So yeah, I mean, these are the pretty much things which I wanted to share and I'll try to keep uploading videos more frequently because I know I haven't uploaded any videos since long time now. But yeah, let's see how this year goes. So if you're still listening till this point, thanks a lot. And yeah, once again, Happy New Year. See you soon in the next video.